Hello everyone. Uh, you must have already heard about standard SOP in BOS forms. First of all, let me just give you a brief introduction on what SOP and BOS is. To start with, as the name itself suggests, it is sum of products and this is product of sums. So when you are able to write a boolean expression in terms of sums or products, you are said to write them in SOP and BOS forms. As the name itself suggests that it is a sum of a few products. For example, you have AB plus BC plus CA. This is a product, this is a product and that is a product. So this whole thing is sum of a few products. So that is called SOP form. Next is POS which is product of sums. So take a few sums, let us consider A plus B into B plus C into C plus D. These are all products, sorry, these are all sums. And you are multiplying all the sums together, so it is a product of sums. I guess you are now clear with what SOP and BOS is. One is sum of products and one is product of sums. But there is something called the standard SOP and POS forms. And this becomes really important when you deal with binary, when you deal with digital logics. You need them in standard SOP and POS forms. So first of all, let us see what this standard form is. So, cutting down to basic binary logic, let us see this. what it is from the scratch. So, the Boolean uh, logics, you just the A into A complement and A plus A complement, you remember that, right? So, just, just let me revise. One is, A into A complement is 0 and A plus A complement is 1. How this game is really very simple. There are just two states for binary logic. One is 1 and one is 0. So when you are taking A complement, it is the opposite of the A. So if you are taking 1, it is 0 and if you are taking 0, it is 1. So obviously these two statements, they are axiomatic. They are very simple. So using these, we are going to bring our SOP or POS forms into standard SOP or POS forms. So for that, let me just show you a very small example. Let me start with small example. I'll discuss more examples later. So a standard SOP or POS form is that format in which every term has all the variables of the Boolean expression. For example, you have this Boolean expression f of a comma b comma c is equal to a b plus b c. Just, just look at this expression. It is a sum of products. a b is a product and b c is a product. So, the this is an SOP. This is an SOP. You can say that just by looking at it. There are two products and some of the products. Put that aside. The standard SOP is every term, every, these are called min terms. For SOP they are called min terms and for POS they are called max terms. So every min term should have all the variables in this. What are the three variables here? A, B and C. Here, missing. C variable is missing. It's not there. And here, A is missing. 
A is not there. So, using those postulates I just mentioned right now, that is A into A complement is 0 and A plus A complement is 1. Using these postulates, you can bring these into these. I mean to say, you can write this, I am rewriting AB plus BC, right? We know that A plus A complement is 1. Here, C variable is missing. So, I can write it as AB into C plus C complement. C plus C complement value is 1. AB into 1. It just doesn't make any sort of difference. And here I can write plus BC into A plus A complement. Right? Now, this is a one step away from standardization of SOP. Now I can write it as ABC plus ABC bar plus ABC plus A bar BC. Now if you notice ABC and ABC are there. ABC plus ABC is ABC which is very simple. You can just verify that for yourself. Just just it's it's just like A plus A is A. Okay. So these two you can write it down as ABC plus that's it. So ABC bar plus A bar B C. This is a product. This is a product and this is a product. This whole thing is a sum. So I have changed this SOP into this one. So what you have noticed here is in the previous sum of products there is, here, there is the terms are missing. Here there is no C and here there is no A. And now if you see down here there is ABC, ABC, ABC. Complement that is also A. A ka complement that's it. So this is called standard SOP form. In the same way, I want you, yes, yes, you, I want you to standardize POS. Standardizing POS is simple. Here we are using, uh, what is POS product of sums? Yes, right. So, here we are actually using uh, A plus A complement. In POS, we use A into A complement as 0, right. Let us solve one example of that also. You will have no confusion, you will be clear. Okay. So, let me write the POS as, this is the first uh, example for product of sums. POS is uh, A plus B into B plus C. This is my POS. This is a sum and this is a sum, this is a product. So it is product of sums. That is fine. This is a pure sum, this is a max term and this is a max term. But I want it in standard POS form. And what is what do you mean by standard POS form? Yes. Yeah. You don't have all the variables in this. I have A, B, C here. If this function is of A, B and C. But I have no C here. Where is C? And I have no A here. Where is A? So, I already know that A into A complement is 0. So, A into A complement is 0. What I'll do is, if I add 0 here and 0 here, there is no difference. So, I can write it as a plus B plus C is missing, right? So I can write it as C, C bar into B plus C plus A, A bar. It's as simple as that. Now I have A, B and C in the first expression and B, C and A in the second expression. In the second max term, I mean. So in both the Boolean expressions, in this one and this one, I have got them into standard SOP and standard POS formats. 
So this is a very important topic in Boolean algebra. 